night off. Rochester is trying to catch its breath as the rains have finally let up. But flooding still remains a concern for hundreds of homes and families tonight. Meteorologist Kevin Williams joins us now in the news at NBC Weather Lab. And Kevin, I understand there's still some flood warnings to worry about. That's right, uh, Brian. The rain has long since passed. For the most part, the rain is receding. But for the Black and Owatka Creeks, flood warnings remain in effect, all because of a tropical plume of moisture associated with former Hurricane Francis. We brought along the three-day satellite loop. Let's check this out. This is the animation that takes you back. Note this to uh, Monday evening in the storm. The hurricane was still pounding Florida and Georgia, but notice with time it moves and accelerates. But it was at this point uh, last night and uh, during the day today that it produced on average four inches of rain across the region. The good news, though, it's moving rapidly away and a big area of high pressure is moving in. And although we have that creek flooding, that is still a concern. The worst is over. The rain is about done. And a couple of superb, sublime, serene sun splash days are ahead for Friday and Saturday. And I'll be back with that news we'll wrap up the rainfall tallies and yes we'll talk about ivan mm -hmm. major weather story too out in the caribbean in just a little bit brian all right we'll uh, check back with you mm -hmm. kevin thank you well the flooding may have claimed the life of a three-year-old tonight in wyoming county austin roberts was reported missing from his home in coesville this morning crews concentrated their search near a drainage pipe on a creek near his home a stuffed toy was found near the pipe. Our sister station in Buffalo is reporting Austin was found three miles from his house. The sheriff's department says he may have been caught in the high water. The high waters meant several communities had to declare states of emergency today. That included Brockport because of scenes like this on Canal Road. We've heard from the village tonight and as of midnight, the village is ending its state of emergency. Hilton, though, is under a state of emergency until midnight. Floodwaters there are around the county and beginning to dry up. And as Jessica Weinstein found out, it is welcome news for firefighters. Here at the Hilton Fire Department, the flooding was so bad it came up about two feet on the side of the building. You can see the water has since receded, but firefighters here and throughout Western Monroe County have been on the job since 3 o'clock this morning. We are back in service. By 5 tonight, Brockport firefighters had answered 100 calls and the volume slowed from a flood to a trickle. 35 Woodstock Lane. 35 Woodstock, okay. 35 Woodstock. Captain Chris Ortiz took out his tired crew for one more run. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good. Okay. This woman's sump pump got overwhelmed, leaving a few inches of water in the basement. Ortiz just had to reset the pump. It's probably one of the minor ones today. And we've had like two, three, four feet in the basements. To get control, firefighters got together. Agencies from around the county teamed up not to fight fire, but to fight water. They don't just send us manpower, they send manpower with additional pumps. That allows us to pump more basements at the same time and get it under control faster. Along the lake, the sun came out when Scottsville and Hilton firefighters arrived to pump out Susan Foster's place. Pretty bad. A lot of stuff floating, lots of water. It's bad. We've been here before, yes. Uh, fortunately, it's one of the woes of living on the lake. This time, they pumped two and a half feet of water from her basement. So you're kind of an old pro? Uh, I would say that. <laughs> I don't want to get used to it, though. And when the job is done here, Hilton firefighters will get what they've been giving as they turn their own pumps on their own station. We're getting the, the area, the community taken care of first, and we'll figure out where we're going to go from there. Firefighters throughout the county will be working overnight taking calls here in Hilton. They plan to begin pumping out their own station come tomorrow morning. In Hilton, Jessica Weinstein, News 10, NBC. All the water got in the way of schools and businesses today. Tonight, it hurt leisure activity. This is what it looked like at AMF Empire Lanes in Webster. Water in the parking lot made it impossible for anyone to park, and eventually that water made it inside as well. Fire crews and employees put up sandbags to try to contain it. The offices were ruined, but the manager tells us the lanes were saved. Golfers were out of luck all day as well. We stopped by Oak Hill Country Club late this afternoon. Many of its greens are submerged. The course is closed. The pro shop opens to reopen tomorrow. Several major roads remain closed tonight because of flooding and could stay that way until tomorrow. Those roads include Union Street in Chai Lai between Bowen and Morgan Road. Colby Road between Hubble Road and Route 259 in Ogden. In Hamlin. 
Portions of Redmond Road and Walker Lake Ontario Road are closed. In Greece, parts of North Greece Road are also closed. There's no traffic on Kings Highway in Irondequoit between Titus and Lakeshore. In Webster, portions of Schlegel Road and State Road are closed. And in Penfield, parts of Blossom and Five Mile Line Road are shut down tonight. Well, a familiar sight in Florida as people once again hit the road, worried about yet another hurricane. Ivan is now bearing down on the Keys. Tourists and residents there have been urged to evacuate. Many are leaving behind towns that still do not have power from Hurricane Francis. Now, when Ivan hits, it'll be the third hurricane in Florida in a month. These are some of the first pictures of damage on the ground in Grenada from Ivan. Officials estimate 90% of the island's homes were damaged. The Category 4 storm is being blamed for 23 deaths in the Caribbean. Now bringing you Western New York's